This is why it is almost impossible to beat a Shaolin monk. We have all seen monks meditating for months alone in the mountains. But have you wondered what they do after that? They train for months and hone their abilities. And after that brutal training, they gain superpower-like abilities. From walking on water to having an iron crotch, here are some of the superpowers that monks possess. Walking on water. We often associate the ability to walk on water with superheroes, but you'd be surprised to know that Shaolin monks can walk on water. There is a Chinese monk named Shi Liliang. He was able to walk on water after nine years of practice. To walk on water, he had used very thin and lightweight ply boards that were connected by cloth. He was able to walk across the water, which was 118 meters long, in around 50 seconds. He says that you have to focus on being light and have control. Superhero Strength It would be so cool if we had superhero strength or if we were super strong, isn't it? This sort of superhero strength is mostly observed in fictional works and mythologies. Humans are trying to get superhero strength by technology and science, but there is still a long way to go. But quite a few monks possess superhero strength after training for years and years. They do achieve the impossible. Maintaining the temperature of the body. Imagine how convenient it would have been if we could adjust or maintain our body temperature as and when needed. Well, you don't have to just imagine anymore, because this happens in real life. It was seen that a small group of Tibetan monks were able to control the temperature of their skin by meditation. From 1979 to the 1980s, when a group of scientists studied a group of Tibetan monks, they discovered that the group had the ability to raise their body temperature by 17 degrees. Shattering glass with a needle. You might have seen people shattering glass with a stone or some heavy object. But have you ever seen a glass shattering because of a needle? Yes, you heard that right. A monk was able to throw a needle through the glass and break it. When asked about it, they say that it is all about using a combination of focus and channel vital energy called Qi. It was discovered that the needle acquired a speed of 150 kilometers, and that is how it pierced through the glass. Amazing, isn't it? Finger skill and strength. If you think you have a great balance, you need to meet these monks. They can do push-ups and handstands with just one finger. Basically, the amount of strength that a few people have in their entire hands, they have it in their fingers. But it's not easy to build that strength. They punch on trees with their fingers to build strength. Intense training is the reason behind the incredible finger strength of Shaolin monks. After a while, their fingers become as hard as iron. You can see indents on the trees around the Shaolin monastery, which is formed as a result of punching on trees. Iron Crotch Getting hit in the crotch is probably the most painful thing, especially for men. But these monks have strengthened their crotches as well. They make their private parts so strong that they are able to bear the pain or lower the impact when someone hits them in the crotch. For that, they have to first go through a painful procedure of training, and only then do their private parts become as hard as iron. Iron Heads Have you ever felt like hitting your head against the wall? Well, that is how monks train. To make their heads strong, they start by hitting their head on the wall with 10 protective layers of skill. They then hit the wall at different angles. Every few months, a layer of silk is removed, and finally, one day, the students have to hit a wall without wearing any protective layer. During the first few attempts, it hurts, but eventually, they master it. After that, their head becomes as strong or stronger than the wall. There have been instances where monks have broken stone walls just by headbutting them. Sitting in hot oil. Now, not every monk is capable of doing this. But a monk was recorded sitting a pot of oil above a live fire. He sat in that pot for quite some time, while continuing to meditate. He had applied a special mix of herbs to reduce the impact, but you have to understand that even with the herbs, sitting in a pot of oil is still painful. Very painful. After his meditation session was over, the oil was poured into bottles, and they were sold to the audience of the event. Diamond Finger a method aimed at strengthening the index fingers, the diamond finger skill gives a Shaolin monk so much power that they can make a hole in the chest of the opponents with a finger and injure their internal organs. The training routine of this method includes pulling out rusted nails, punching tress until you can make a dent and striking stones. This method is also called Buddha's finger. You might have seen videos of a monk doing a one-finger handstand. That is the demonstration of diamond finger sill.